civilization build Nigeria. You can see what we are going through in Nigeria right now. There is frustration everywhere. Many men have this stroke all because they can't cater for their family. Subsidy is a fraud. Build Nigeria refinery. We can't continue this way. Unemployment everywhere. Many homes is scattered. You are the new president. You told us you have brain. Now you are in the office. Use the brain. We can't continue this way, bro. Look at labor equipment. Some people have to sleep in their place of work. Oh, because they don't have money to go home. What nation are we building? A frustrated environment? People are going to school, there's no employment. In two months, 500 naira on petrol. How we got in this country? Is it an animal kingdom? Your mumu don't do for Nigeria. Fake life everywhere. All show everywhere. Every, what is everything in the country? Which is complaining? Which that is complaining? Babala is complaining. <laughs> there is no joy. Joy is dead. People are dying. Church is everywhere. Mask everywhere. Kill all day. What? The way the country is going. I pray what happened in Niger will not happen in Nigeria. In the next one week. What happened in Niger? I pray it will not happen in Nigeria. The youth, we are out. We are on fire. It's going to shock this government in the next one week. My name is Kormeda Dedru. I was talking with Shore as that five, as that one hour ago. Is that something? Shebe Ati Dibo. Hey now. Imagine so, you know, 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 you Yes, let me use the word. All of my jackie are covered by. Yes, the time has come for you, Jagaba of Nigeria, to stand up on your feet and use the brain you have to solve the problem of the nation. But if this is not done in the next one week, you, we all heard what Father not said, our yes. Father. He gave two solutions to you just now. If I were you, the president in your mighty in Asarok. Call this man and walk with him. The time has come. Because when it starts, police will not hurt people. How many will not hurt people? People are frustrated will come out in masses. Even the police will hold his own family and protect his own family. That time is coming. My name is Comrade Adedoi Adedjubu. Joy is dead. Joy is dead. Joy in Nigeria is dead. We want basic amenities for all Nigerians. We want free education. We want we want free health the health care for everybody. We don't want palliative. We want basic amenities. We want all Nigerians to be able to speak and to be able to live fine in their own country. Don't tell us government is trying. Government is not trying. We don't want palliative. We want good governance. We want all the basic amenities for all Nigerians. Don't tell us government is trying. NLC leaders, I'm disappointed in you. Government is not trying. Reverse that word. Government is not trying. You do not speak for all Nigerians. You only speak for yourself. Because you have been with the government. You have been, you have been doing back and forth meeting with the government. And you come back again the next time to protest again. You have always been doing this. 
1999, you've been signed different MOUs, and we have not reached any agreement. Go tell us government is trying. Government is not trying. All right. Yeah, I'm from the state. Uh, this government is so clueless. They borrow 500 billion, borrow 800 billion. In order to consume, they are not borrowing to invest, they are going to consume. Does that make any sense? For goodness sake, does that make any sense? They are able to borrow or to finance a private individual to do refunding and they cannot finance themselves to repair the money back. So it doesn't make any sense. Is any sense? I don't know whether they, 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 they are brains are evaporated. I don't just know. I don't just know. You borrow to consume. You borrow to buy cars, exotic bulletproof cars. Who are you bulletproofing against? In other clients, you see the president come out, mingle with people, but in our own, you hardly see, you don't even see, you don't even see. So why is that? It's our problem. Where what exactly is wrong with we Africans? Hmm. All the non-Africans that develop themselves. We black Africans. I don't know why that made the, the, the success of slave trade because we are the one that we are even hatching ourselves and we're selling to the white and we still continue to do, do this kind of thing. Slavery mentality. So what I want to say is this, let this let this government borrow sex. Let them the money they are borrowing. Let it be for investment, not for consumption. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Southwest Regional Vice President of that one, Amadamite Union of Abbey's Transport Workers of Nigeria. What's your, uh, what's your take there? What's your take on decision being taken by NLT? Yes, we are here together in solidarity with the directive of NLT today to showcase our grievances to the federal government of Nigeria on the negative impacts of this removal of Yes. Government can just come and say they want to reduce subsidy. But what are the measures put in place for us, for we that are working in the transportation sector, where petrol remains the only fuel, the only source to our vehicle? We have some other means through which our vehicle can move. The CNG gas are there. Government is not doing anything about it. We are trying to assess this CNG for, for so many months now. They are making it difficult for us. Come on to subsidize the installation of these kits. Government is not saying anything about this. We are being affected by this policy and we are saying no to this. It is unfair. The government of Nigeria, President Tinubu, is acting as if you are unconcerned. Yes, you say to the Lord of, of, of Jamal that you can listen to all, you can see what is going on, but your actions and reactions are saying otherwise. We are trying to even assess loan to install CNG to our car. Bankings are not giving us that, they are, they are not giving us that way. We are the Nigerians, we are the one working in the informal sector that is driving the economy, and hence we must be listened to. That is why we are here today to make our grievances known to the government. Thank you. Uh, the is the fact that the uh, healing drivers in Nigeria, they are, they are predominantly graduate unemployed. Okay. They are graduates that, do, that have not been able to secure a job in the former sector. And the government should look deep into this as a matter of urgency. Because if you are leaving this uh, group of people without attending to their plight or without attending to their need, it therefore means that uh, you are calling for insecurity. And uh, we are calling on the Nigerian government uh, as a matter of fact to be pleased put here and listen to us uh, so that uh, we can have a peaceful nation. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Yeah.